everyone, it's me again and welcome back. So just a kind of quick update on why I didn't upload a video yesterday. I was at the Scottish Business Awards that they were holding in Fife and I was up for a nomination for the Best Makeup Artist in Fife and I won! Oh, I was so excited. Like, see, I've only been self-employed for about eight to nine months doing makeup like on my own freelance and honestly it's like made my year and I just want to thank like every single one of my clients who have supported me through my journey so far. And if you ever want your face painted, then you can wait to come. Back to today's tutorial, I'm going to be showing you how to do a halo eye with a beautiful gold pigment. And this is probably one of my favourite looks to do, I feel like it's so complimentary on like everyone's kind of eye shape. start off the brows, I'm using the Makeup Revolution Brow Pomade in the shade Chocolate. And if you haven't noticed already, this is like my favourite eyebrow product. I've used them all, I've used all the kind of high end pomades and this is probably one of my favourite ones. And it's only £5, like you really can't go wrong with that. And I'm taking an angled brush and I'm just going to define underneath the brows. Starting from kind of three quarters of the way along the brow and then extending the tail. I'm not going to start at the front of the brow first because I don't want the front of the brow to be too dark. So to create that ombre effect, I start at the middle of the brow and then I start to slowly brush the product forward. And because this is quite a full glam look, I am doing the eyebrows quite defined, but you can obviously do a softer brow if you want to. Now I'm going in with the P. Louise base in the shade 0.5 and using this as my eye base. So to start off, I'm using a flat brush underneath the brows and just defining and kind of tidying up that area. And this shade of the base is quite light, so this is going to highlight under the brow bone. Make sure you're using a really small defined brush to do this. Now I'm going in with a fluffy brush and I'm just popping this all over the lid. Now I'm going in with the Too Faced Chocolate Bar Palette. I'm using the really dark shade from the top right outer corner and I'm going to pop that all over the lid. Right from the outer corner to the inner corner. And you want to make sure you're using quite a dense brush to do this because it picks up the pigmentation quite well. Now I'm using Love Struck from the P. Louise palette. And you're wanting to blend out your previous shade with this colour just lightly around the outer edges. I'm going to take the lighter brown shade from that palette and take it on a clean fluffy brush and then just like pop that around the outer edges again. You want to kind of make it look like a gradient so it's going from dark to light. And blending is key, just keep going back in with your previous colour and just make sure it looks really seamless. Thank you. 
And now I'm just packing on some of the first colour that we put on and this is just going to darken up the outer edges again. Sometimes when you blend a lot, you kind of start to lose the darkness that you put on in the first place. Now I'm going back in with the P. Louise base in the same shade that we use all over the eyes and popping this in the centre of the eye. In this look, we want the lightest area to be in the centre of the eye. So I'm just packing that on with a flat brush. And then once I know how far to take it, like kind of right up to the eye crease, I'm just creating a little kind of semi-circle shape. But you want the highest area to be in the very, very middle. And then I'm just going to buff the outer edges just to make sure that's all blended and seamless. Now I'm going in with the Peaches and Cream pigment in Gatsby which is such a beautiful colour. If you're looking for like a really nice light gold pigment, this is the one you need, like it's stunning. And I'm just going to pack this on with a flat brush. I'm just going to clean up all the fallout under the eyes. Now I'm going in with a Maybelline gel liner and just popping this in the waterline underneath to darken up the eyes. I'm just going to buff out that gel liner with a really dark brown shade. Now I'm going in with this aloe vera moisturising lotion and popping that on to prep the skin. And then I'm going in with Next Shine Color which is an amazing affordable primer if you've got oily skin. This is like a really 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 good primer. And now I'm going in with the Prima Lashes in the Style Booty and just popping these on. Make sure to always keep the client's eye open when you're popping lashes on. Now I'm mixing together two shades from the Illamasqua Skin Base Foundation. I'm mixing 4.5 and 5.5 to create the kind of perfect shade for Marissa. And then I'm going in with the Collection 2000 Concealer in the shade 2 and 1 and mixing those together and popping these under the eyes. And I'm using an eyeshadow brush to blend this out from Morphe. And then I'm just going to set that with the transparent powder from Rimmel. And this is a really, really good affordable powder as well. I love this. I've always kind of used this for years. I love this powder. Now I'm just bronzing up the face with the Illamasqua Glint and Raw Bronzer. This gives you a beautiful sun-kissed look. And now I'm going in with a blusher in the shade Lover and just popping this on the cheeks. And 
And now for a highlight, I'm using this MUA highlight in the shade Peach Diamond and this is a beautiful kind of, it's got like a pinky undertone to it, it's really really lovely on the skin. And now just popping on some mascara to finish off the eyes. And then I'm going to line the lips with this Max Factor liner and it's in the shade Brown and Bold. I feel like this is a really nice complimentary colour to any nude lipstick as well. Now I'm going in with a MAC lipstick and this is the Jimmy Genevieve collaboration and I love this lipstick, it's beautiful, especially with a darker lip line. And then I'm just popping on this nice gloss and this is from Primark and this is stunning. It's kind of like the Fenty packaging I think um, but this just gives a kind of nice glossy glow to the lips. And that is the finished look. I really hope you enjoyed it and I hope that was quite easy to understand. I love this look. This is one of my favourite looks so far. And I just want to say thank you so much again to everyone who supported me um, through the awards and through this and just through kind of everything. I appreciate you all so much. And please leave any suggestions for any other makeup looks down below. Thank you. Look at my dad.